Volkswagen breaks ground on a monumental expansion to its Chattanooga plant. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. It's an $800 million project that's driving 1,000 new jobs into the scenic city. Aaron Farrar was there and explains why both VW and local leaders say this move is historic. Volkswagen's very first electric vehicle in North America will be produced right here at this Chattanooga plant. It's another move cementing Volkswagen's commitment to Chattanooga. We see the products of the future coming to Tennessee and particularly Chattanooga. That product VW calls the ID Cross, expected to reach speeds of 112 miles per hour and charge in 30 minutes. It's the start of the automaker's new class of electric vehicles made in the scenic city. A bold move, according to VW CEO. I mean, it's quite historic for us because it's, I think it's, it's a great journey and it's where the industry is going. To make it happen, this is the site of the substantial expansion. The facility will have three basic portions, a new body shop, battery welding assembly, and battery packs assembly. In early part of 2022, start the SOP here. Yeah. This new plan calls for 1,000 new jobs in Chattanooga. Governor Bill Lee says this creates a focus on vocational, technical, and STEM education so Tennesseans can fill those needed positions. That's how we create a workforce that will be attractive to global companies like Volkswagen. Volkswagen intends for the new ride to hit the streets in 2022, while Mayor Andy Burke envisions this partnership lasting well beyond then. The impact of this investment will come for generations. We've talked about the expansion here, adding a thousand new jobs. The Volkswagen CEO says he plans to start hiring for those positions at the end of 2020. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Aaron Farrar for News Channel 9. Once production begins in 2022, Volkswagen CEO anticipates building more than 100,000 electric SUVs every year.